What does the law teach or say about guns and the keeping of arms? Okay, now you'll, you'll probably hear me talk a lot about guns uh, because that's, that's basically what we think of when we think of the Second Amendment. Okay, we're not thinking about swords um, or, or you know anything like that. Um, you know, nunchucks, that kind of thing. Where you're normally thinking about guns, okay? Um, so, but but please understand, I'm talking about strictly here the the right to keep and bear arms. Now, what does the law teach us about this? Okay, well, it teaches us that anyone that's a citizen uh, can carry a weapon. Now, there, there's going to be, you know, some, some restrictions there, obviously, children, that kind of thing. But broadly speaking, broadly speaking, the idea is that the citizens of a country are able to carry, to keep, and bear arms. Now, I have to remind you here about what we've said in other episodes previous to this one, and it's that the citizen is actually an office, if you think about it the right way. And so, for example, why is it that the state always wants to take away, okay, from the citizen who holds the office of citizen, and it's a lifelong office that you hold, they always want to take away our rights, but you never see them minimizing the rights of those that hold office of president or secretary of state, or secretary of defense or governor or representative or senator, okay? These are all offices. And so we have a constitution that regulates or is supposed to at least regulate all of these things. And I think often we don't think ourselves as holding an office of citizen, uh, where as holders of that office, we have a right and we have a legal right as well. Now, we also have a natural right as individuals, and we're going to talk about that too. Um, but I wanted to point that out so that we we keep in mind our positions as citizens. It's very important. We're not subjects of the state, right? We're, we're not just the dominions of those that are in power. We're not just slaves. We are citizens, and that is important for us to keep in mind and, and, and in a sense to keep our, our dignity, to, to hold our head up high and, and to know that we also have these rights and that the state cannot infringe upon them. And, and this is, you know, part of the reason why we're even going through the Bill of Rights it is to awaken that mindset again in, in, in Americans because you know, often we, we want to let the state do so many things because we feel that they may have the capacity to do it. Although, you know, that seems strange because we one of the things we criticize a lot is politicians and the state. And yet increasingly we allow them to uh, continue to infringe upon our rights. And of course, uh, you know, the Second Amendment is, is something that they're constantly, uh, particularly from the left, uh, coming against us with, with trying to infringe that, that right. Well, the second thing that the law teaches is three things that we're going to say here. The first is that any, any citizen can carry, okay, generally speaking. The second is that weapons are for self-defense, okay? That, that is that a weapon, okay, when you're, you have the right to keep and bear arms, it's, it's not so that you can go around shooting people, okay? It's not so that you can go scare people, rob people, mug people. That is what criminals do, okay? We're citizens, and we're, we should be upstanding or outstanding citizens that are trying to live good and moral lives, okay? And so we have the right to carry, okay? But we do it in order to be able to defend ourselves and our property, our loved ones, that kind of thing, okay? The third thing is this, that the law does not assume that you want to commit murder. Now, this is important because the idea here, okay, the idea here 
is that when someone uses a gun, let's say, in self-defense, and they were carrying this weapon on their person, the assumption of the law is not that that person is guilty of murder, but that that person okay, was carrying in order to defend themselves. Now, that does not mean, obviously, that a person could have used it in the wrong way. And um, this is something that, that I'll try to emphasize. And if I don't emphasize it as much, I want you to know now that our right to carry, to have a gun, is for self-defense. And the assumption should never be, okay, that it is for any other reasons, okay, that, that particularly that constitute hurting someone else or infringing upon their natural rights. In other words, shooting them because you're mad at them, jealous, anything like that.